Maybe I was too harsh on her. I did call her a bad friend. That's the first time I've ever even used profanity. Except for that day when we accidentally ordered decaf. Aha! Who's awesome? This girl. Don't worry. It, like, says right here. Neither party may dissolve stuff unless, and only unless, the friendship becomes strained. And Olivia's the one that got into law school. Like, pff, I can't wait to see the color of her face when she hears I saved the day. Sally, I have a possible solution. I promised myself I'd never kill again, but... <sighs> ah, that's sweet of you. But maybe April's right. I may know hair, but she knows the system. I'll just quit so she doesn't have to shut down the salon. Then she'll win the Mirage Star. And, in a way, it'll be like we both won it. Well, not really. Oh, Francois. Oh, yeah. It says right here, Sally relinquishes all rights of ownership. This is, like, too easy. I should go take the bar exam right now. You guys watch the shop for me. Man, I love cocktails. Watch the... Wait, what? But I was going to dramatically write my resignation letter with an eyebrow pencil. This is not what I had in mind when Brittany suggested hanging out in a beauty parlor. Just a minute. Ow! My ear! Watch it, you idiot! Whoops! Um, well, I think it'd be weird if they didn't match. You have worse hands than my third husband. Where's that cute girl who's usually here? The one who does that jig? She wasn't a good fit. There she is! Hey, jig girl! Help! How's it hanging, apes? I thought you were shutting down the salon. Just a few last appointments to honor. You left me quite a load. You mean when you fired me? Speaking of which, I didn't see your resignation letter on my desk. Oh, sorry. My bad. Just be sure you call before you show up here again. No offense. No problem. Oh, by the way, do you have my check? Check? For what? It says here, if one of us leaves, the other has to... What's the word? Buy out the other for 50%. Since when do you read fine print? Never. Francois did. He's always been such a great friend. So, 50% please, and I'll be on my way. That may take a few... Somethings. Gosh, that's a bummer. Cause it also says here that if I can raise the 50% first, I can fire you. You really want to go up against me, Sally? On the financial front? I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, April. We were. Game on. Who does this little snit think she is? Stabbing me in the front? After all I've done to her? Never mind that, April. Focus. We've got this. Shut up. We're losing our mind. Just like Grandpa, Mother, the twins. You shut up. We're fine. It's Sally that's the problem. She purposely ruined that darn cocktail party because she envies your success. She's selfish. She was right. You're terrible. I hate sharing a brain with you. Whatever, loser. We're perfectly sane. That's what people whisper. We'll see that rep coming a mile away. We know what to look for. Pardon me? There'll be someone urbane. Stern. 
a perfect replica of us. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Shh! Have a seat. Someone will be with you eventually. Actually, I was looking for Sally. Sally is currently unavailable. Oh, that's too bad. I've heard such wonderful things. Don't believe everything you hear. Now, do you want to take a seat? I'm sort of expecting someone. On second thought, I'm a bit faded from my flight. I'll come back later. Can't wait. Au revoir. Now, where was I? Where you'll always be, in a hell of your own making. You mean a hell of our own making. They should have sent a poet. Oh, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> it's funny. That's exactly how I first met Vincent. He was sitting in a massage chair. Then, just as I walked past, testing some oil, I slipped and fell right into his arms. Ooh. I mean... Ah. Uh. We tried to get up at the same time and kept bumping our heads. Sounds like a classic meat cute. Then the oil leaked between the cushions and shorted out the chair. We both got electrocuted. This story's still going? We both woke up from our comas in adjoining hospital beds at the exact same time. That's when we knew. And here I am, signing divorce papers, just 24 years later. People grow apart. You and Vincent aren't right for each other. It happens. Thanks, Francois. Advice on affairs of the heart is my middle name. Used to be Gary. Oh, well, I'd better head to the lawyers before they close. Too bad I won't be able to loan Sally that money now. Loan? Well, yes. Although I think it only has one L. And by the way, that's not a massage chair. Only two more. Okay, what's the term for the hollow tube inside a hair? Cortex, neutralizer, cuticle, or medulla? Oh, I know this one. Medulla. Ugh. I think I'm supposed to answer. Oh yeah, so what's your answer? Um, whatever you said. Medulla? Wow, you got a perfect score. Maybe you should be quizzing me. Sup, peeps? Anyone up for, like, some stress cleaning? Neither of those are really my métier. Who said I was stressed? Not me. I feel awesome that my sister's gonna be, like, undermining me here on the rig. Hmm. I think you misheard me. Morning, all. Glad to see at least some of you look busy. You're welcome. April's brought me up to speed on this latest bit of legal unpleasantness. I'm not in the least bit surprised that it's you two cooking it up. Huh. That's a relief. I was worried you'd be on her side. Just know that I have my eye on you. Any efforts to sabotage the Mirage Star Award will be dealt with, harshly. <sighs> Thanks, Helen, but don't worry. I'm sure April won't do anything mean. She was named after the month Easter sometimes in, after all. 
Okay, Francois. Final question. What's the most effective way to remove a mustache? Electrolysis, followed by a brisk sandpapering. I mean... Hmm. Security cam footage didn't pick up a single person? Nobody with an obvious income of 250k plus came in all day? Impossible! Sally must have been tampering with the cams. It all adds up. Well, guess what, honey? Today is April Fumier's lucky day. Ow, my face. What the? Just who do you think? Oh my, such lovely accessories, Miss Angela. And if you don't mind, I think I'll just go back to having my hair done at home on Park Avenue. Park Avenue? Although I must say, this place does have its charms. Obviously nothing on par with what I'm used to in Manhattan. But on first glance, not bad. Yet something else entirely upon closer scrutiny, don't you think? Like those things you see in the desert? From a distance, you think it's an oasis, but it's just the heat? You mean, a mirage? Yeah, or like where the cover makes a book sound great? But once you've skinned the parts under it, you just get sleepy? You mean, under cover? Apparently, the concussion was the best part of this conversation. I'll let myself out. That was her. I can still save this. That was her. I can still... These windows are like so filthy. I can barely even see through them. Well, I'm no architect, but maybe it's because that's a wall. They're like windows, but less fun. Jeepers, have you been here all night? Oh yeah, sunlight, huh? I thought I felt my tan lines paling. I've been on that date. Plus I like hand washed the rug in your office six times. And those spots still won't come out. I just want to ugly cry. Well, the rug is leopard skin. Just because I did the same thing with our eldest sister Tiffany doesn't give Olivia the right to emulate my behavior. Sibling stuff's tricky. Don't get me started. You have a sister? No, I'm an only child. That's why I said don't get me started. I got nothing. No one can fix my issues. I mean, when I hooked up with April's brother a long time ago, I thought she'd be happy for us. Boy, was I dumb. Guess whatever Olivia's done to upset you must have been way worse. Well, not really. And now with her working here too, you'll have daily opportunities to show her that you're your own person. That must suck. Hmm. Plus you started here first, have seniority, you're friends with everyone here, and you're getting married. You have so much more. Must be a lot of pressure. OMG! I never like thought of it like that. I'm sorry. Stupid, stupid Sally. All I do is make people sad. Thanks, Sally. I feel way better now. You know, for an older lady, you're super, boo. And you know what? It's gonna take a whole lot more to stress this queen out. Oh my god! My ring! My engagement ring! It's gone! <clears throat> I 
I was hoping to steal a word with you in private. Guess this is close enough. I wouldn't worry about Mr. Pootymuckle here. He can sleep through anything. Which is something I'm certainly used to. Hmm? Oh. Just to follow up on our last exchange, you said something about loaning Sally money so she can keep the salon? I did? Oh, sorry. I might have misspoken. I see. I actually meant we were going to give Sally the money. As a surprise. But of course we'd tell her it was just a loan. Otherwise she might not take it. You know Sally. Ah, well, that would be very generous of you. I take it you had an unexpected windfall? Oh, I thought you knew. Vincent and I co-won the lottery. We hardly ever play, but our divorce lawyer sold us a ticket. Our winning numbers were Tilly's birthday. Isn't that adorable? If you say so. And then? And then we decided we'd use the proceeds to help Sally buy April out. I think I love you. But now, what with the divorce and all, we're both going to need that money to rebuild our lives. Like you so rightly said, Vincent and I are a terrible couple. Huh. You know I was just uh, kidding, right? You guys are great. Why, you both have so much in common? We hate each other. See? That's one thing. You two belong together. And I'm certain Vincent agrees with me. Ha! Huh. My only regret about becoming a divorcee is that I wish I was becoming a widow. Safe word, safe word. Hey, you know things. This is the best cologne we have, right? I've splashed five bottles of it all over myself, and I still can't smell or taste the difference. Um, that's rat poison. Jeesh. It really has been a while since I've been on the dating scene. It's like riding a bike. Once you learn it, you forget it instantly. Well, so long as she's not a rat, I'm sure she'll love it. But still, you're dating already? You're not even divorced yet. <sighs> Don't remind me. To think I squandered so many years trying to make things work with a shrew like Rachel. Now I've met someone who sees my inner beauty. Ah, blind then. That's a good demographic for you. I mean, don't you miss Rachel? <sighs> yeah, like a hole in the head. That's a weird expression if you think about it. I'd miss my mouth, eyes, nostrils. But you and Rachel had so much in common. Your dog? Um, the number of E's in your first names? Meh. <sighs> Rachel Smachel, this new girl's really into me. I mean, age difference is just an expression, right? No, I think there's actual math involved. Well, I'm off to meet her for breakfast. It's so cute when she wakes up to find me with roses standing over her bed and screams, thanks for all the tips. Hey, by the way, would you and Rachel mind still giving Sally your lottery money? Sally's a good kid. I'd do anything for her. But like I just said, the one thing I take seriously is math, and the numbers just aren't there. Unless Rachel and I somehow didn't hate each other or something. Well, bye-bye. But the workday's just starting. You too. Wish me luck. So going forward, we'll only be dealing with suppliers who understand the difference between nail beds and beds of nails. Who knew cuticle care could be so complicated? <laughs> Finally, it's come to my attention that there's been a major upsurge in non-work-related activities here at the salon. That's ridiculous. 
I've been non-productive since day one, and I can produce witnesses if you're really going to make me get up. Everything may just be one big joke to you, Francois, but some of us care about keeping this place afloat. Does you and April backstabbing the owner count as work-related? I need to know for my taxes. Francois, I've had about enough of your toxic attitude. As wellness coordinator, I outrank you. You're fired. Go clean out your locker. What? I have a locker? Sweet. And just to reiterate, this salon will no longer be used as some cut-rate backdrop for non-work-related subplots. Fives. That's a greeting now? Man, things sure are to bomb with that blue-delicious little mama I'm dating. Sorry, Hells, but y'all are gonna lose this bet. Still ten days to go, Nathan. And nights, or I'd be stressing. In fact, she's outside right now. You guys wanna meet her? Sure, bring her in. Let's all take a good look at what your type is. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Nady tells me you might be hiring? Speaking of which, I outrank Helen. Francois, you're rehired and promoted to vice president of whatever. K. OMG, I like seeing him tomorrow. And I haven't even told him I lost the ring. Let's get systematic, like TV cops. Do you remember what shape it was? Um, round? What else? Well, it like had a sparkly jewel inset. He said it was a super precious metal, zirconia. Don't worry, Brittany. We'll find it. And even if we don't, he'll understand. It won't affect your wedding. I guess you're right. Ah, oh, Sally. Seriously, you're such a bae. This is the best I've felt in days. Oh, Brittany. I didn't, like, know you worked here. What ifs? A lot of people work here. Our paths paths won't cross that much. OMG. And there's some real weirdos, too. There was a creepy girl here last week with a sheet over her head. She didn't say a single word. Cool story, oh. Now, if you like, excuse me. I have glamorous things to do somewhere that's not here. Thanks again, Sally. Actually, I'm glad I ran into you. I have, like, an exciting announcement to make. I'm totally getting married. We haven't been going out long, but I've never felt such a strong attraction before. We're getting married on the 10th. But that's my wedding day. Oh, how fun. We can have mine right before yours then. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. Oh, sorry, you don't have your ring on. Well, he's waiting for me outside. Gotta bounce. I want to die. Boy, this place sure is turning into a sty ever since you locked Sally out of the cleaning supplies closet. I heard she hid in there for three days after Francois tried to talk to her about my brother. So tit for tat. Seriously, even the sponges in there were alphabetized. I never realized how much she did around here. Yes, well, some of us don't have time to dust. And text air kiss emojis to corporate all day. Maybe if you just reinstated Sally? Enough Sally talk. Don't make me write you up for offering suggestions. We're not here to make friends. 
This is a business. Well, you just let me know if it helped to hire a cleaning lady with my lottery winnings. Lottery? Yeah, although I think it's spelled with just the one L. Like llama. The monk, not the wannabe camel. Rachel, me and Nimini Demer. Have I ever told you how much I cherish our friendship? Why, almost as much as Sally's. Wow, thanks, April. That means a lot. Is there anything I can do to make your life easier? And this obviously has nothing to do with your finances. Hmm, well, I do hear Vincent's already dating again. Incredible as that may seem. Ah, and you'd like me to whip out my famously little black book and find a single someone for you to even the scales? Hmm. Well, I was going to ask you to kill Vincent and bring me his head to throw grenades at. But meeting someone new sounds faster. Consider it done. And none of this will distract you from keeping an eye out for our sneaky Mirage executive, I hope. Excuse me? I was here before. I said, come back later. Sorry, my bad. Miss me? Yes? Damn, woman. You just dropped me off 30 seconds ago. Ah, uh, what do you miss most about me right now? Your butt, I guess. Ah, uh, how much do you like it? On a scale of one to ten. I don't know, fives? Ah, uh, see? We were made for each other. You're so into math. It's cute. Einstein had an afro, too. Incoming call from Kimberly, not Beverly for you, Nathan. Ah. Trouble in paradise, lover boy? No, um... My phone was just... dirty? Let me guess. Did it have a five-year warranty? I'm in love with Bev. You'll see. You mean Kimberly? <laughs> Plumber and electrician to the sauna. Again. Expecting someone? No. I, uh, just want to be ready in the event of a zombie apocalypse. In Snugford. Again. Dude, just give up the bet already. I hate seeing you like this. And by hate, I mean I never want it to end. No way, sister. This is the happiest I've ever felt. In fact, I think she might be the one. Besides... I've only got to make it two more days. Actually, you're off by three. Fives? Son of a... Damn. Guess y'all were right about me. I'm just a shallow chump, hooking up with everyone because I can't connect with anyone. Oh, Nathan, you're a terrific catch. And sometimes the very thing you're looking for is what's standing right in front of you. For real? Who here's up for some power squats? Don't worry, I got plenty of muscle rub to go round. Whoa ho, shut the front door. Were you two about to go a round of tonsil hockey on the DL? No way. 
I thought you were saving yourself for me, Helicious. Don't make me challenge you to a duel for her honor, brah. Dude, you two almost sucked face. I gotta tell somebody. Hey, random stranger, guess what I just saw? Hey, come back. So, can we call the bet off now, please? Nah, now I really want to see what you guys' kids are gonna look like. Late. I can't wait to see you either. Smooches. Oh, and bring the toys. That poor, poor woman. Whoever she is. Ha! Huh, that's rich coming from you. And I'm more of a woman than she'll ever be. Uh, I mean... Do you have any idea how pathetic you sound? Maybe I do. And to think, 24 years ago, I looked at that stupid face of yours and said, Till death do us part. Even death wouldn't stop you from nagging me for a second. I am so glad I never have to see you again. Ditto. Guess 24 is our lucky number. Speaking of which, Sally needs our help. I thought if we pooled our lottery money, we could help her save this place. Together. Um, I, uh, I spent it. On what? On that floozy you've been seeing? Yes, as a matter of fact, on an engagement ring for that floozy. Wives. You're remarrying? Already? I get lonely, Rach. <coughs> Tilly. Tilly! Oh, Tilly, what happened? Somebody, call a vet. This is all my fault. I was supposed to be watching her. No, it's my fault. She turned down bacon last night. Pre-chewed. She'll be all right. Like they say, dogs have nine lives. She'll pull through, just like old Yeller. Uh-huh. Okay, one second. Tell them what you told me, Doc. They're not going to believe this. She's doing great. She'd accidentally eaten a wedding ring. Twice. Survives. My ring! Dogs will eat anything. You'd think a heightened sense of smell would make them more discerning, but... She just takes after me. Never turn down a free snack. She's such a good girl. We'll be round to pick her up as fast as we can. Wait, what? She nearly... I was so scared for her. Me too. I miss you. Same. But what about... Hi, Vincy. Listen, I've been thinking. I don't think we're right for each other. Okay. You're just not my type. Plus, the 24-year age gap is gross. Here's your ring back. B -b -b bye 24. Our, Our lucky, lucky number. Well, any luck spotting our undercover evaluator yet? Oh, I'm pretty sure I have a bead on who it is. I'm a people person, from a long line of people people. But a photo would be great. No can do. If there's one thing Mirage takes seriously, it's covert surveillance. That's why our slogans, Mirage, believe what you see. I always thought it was offer and soon. Ugh, I meant to ask for a whiskey sour. Remind me to have that waiter fired. Anyway, even having a photo wouldn't help you. Our CEO is a mistress of disguise. So it's a she. Or is that part of the disguise? Always keep your underlings confused. You should write that down. 
Now, anyway, debrief me on the Sally situation. Well, it's certainly a hostile work environment, but I can't force her out unless I come up with 50k. Really? Is that all? You should have told me it was that simple sooner. The CEO is well aware of the Sally issue. She seemed most curious, and rather irate, I might add. Do you know when she'll be coming back? What did I say about secrecy? Sorry, I deserved that. Please, just give me one more day. I'm on top of it. Let us hope so. This is a whiskey sour. Keeping busy as usual, I see. Today was our busiest yet. This is the first time I've been off my feet all day. And I'm only on my ninth. Well, I didn't come here to discuss feet, but to notify you both that I forgive you for your effrontery. Ah, don't worry, apes. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to forgive. Um, I don't suppose either of you have happened to notice any unusual characters lately? Like anyone that could be our undercover evaluator? I just assume it could be anybody. So I give everyone the best service I can. Hmm. And all I have is my master's degree in business strategy. Actually, there was some rich lady here who mentioned you by name. She just ran off. And you let her? What a boob. Everyone, Rachel and I have an announcement to make. We've decided to renew our vows. And now Vincent's returned the ring he bought that cheap floozy. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you, but I can't accept this. Sally, you do so much for everyone without thinking twice. It's our pleasure to give something back. I... I... She means thanks. We'll put it in the safe and deposit it first thing in the morning. Man, I know I say this a lot, but remind me not to come into work if I've been partying too heavily. The money. Oh yeah. Ready to make a run to the bank before savoring April's annoying but hot face when we tell her? It's gone. Sorry, I'm not up to speed on banking terms. It's gone how? Someone broke into the safe and stole it. But who even knew we put it there? Just Rachel and Vincent. But they gave us the money. Well, we know Tilly the Pooch has an appetite for jewelry. Maybe she got a craving for hard currency? Francois, what do we do? Simple. We solve the case. But if April raises her share first... Don't worry, Sally. I've watched a lot of cop shows. Never all the way through, but still. Now then, what did the money look like? You are a doer who takes charge. I am a doer who takes charge. Everyone respects and fears you. Everyone respects and fears me. <sighs> Sorry, I can't say this crap anymore. I want her to be a mime. Typical. What? Excuse me? I mean, mistress? I mean... Can the blather. I have good news. When it's from you, it's always good. C-plus on the grovel. I spoke to the board of directors. They agreed to let me advance you the funds to buy out the Sally person. I... I... 
you're welcome. And incidentally, if anything goes wrong, I'll see to it that you're finished. Not just career-wise, either. I understand my... boss? Let's hope so. Click. Um... That's your cue to hang up, fool. I've won! I've won, I've won, I've won! Join us every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for a new chapter. If you subscribe, you can be notified every time a new chapter is released. So just click on my picture down there. And, as with all creators, we at this channel love feedback. So consider liking or disliking our videos. And leave a comment, because Tiggers just love comments. Ta-ta for now!